In this video, we are going to show you how we took our Facebook portal out of the box with its various components and also the initial setup procedure. Introducing portal from Facebook. Reading from a script, it says smart video calling designed to fit your home with Alexa built in. Nice piece of kit this is. You can set it up so your outgoing image is landscape. Or portrait. Now that's like the image that comes on your phone isn't it? Right we're going to take our portal out of its box. As I say it's fairly chunky uh, but pretty simple stuff, sliding the cardboard inner slides out. I'm going to ask Susie to help me here. Open the lid, there's our portal covered in an acetate protection. I'm going to lay that to one side and underneath we've got another small box which I'm sure we'll find. We've got the mains lead and the instruction books in. And find our way in. It's pretty simple stuff this. There's the mains leads and underneath there the instruction book. We take those out, lay them to one side and we'll be taking those acetate protectors off there. There's our instruction book in five languages. We're going to be using that shortly. And here's our portal out of the box. It's the rear view. There's a speaker there and that's our power socket. And I've never seen a power socket that shape before. Um, let's get the power cable in. So we've got the power plug. Uh, that's the plug. Standard 13 amp plug for the UK use. These problems here, they're one small, two large. It tells me that it's only going to go in one way. And if we look in the socket there, there's one small hole and two larger ones. The same shape as this. So I'm pretty sure this is only going to go in one way so let's give it a go. Offer it up there, fits in nicely, put it home like that, there, that looks nice and secure. I'll just show you that again because I've never seen anything like this. There's the socket, three prong holes, there's your plug with three prongs, one small, two large. It's only going to go on one way so don't worry that you're not going to get it on the right way. Offer it up when it halfway in and then push it home and there you are and look at that this is the thing that tickles me about this that not only is it a power socket but it's also a stand it's standing this nicely that's the landscape version and I think look at that also does an upright version as well so you've got upright or landscape sitting there very nicely somebody's designed this well and that's a power plug that we're going to find some power and fire it up. So here's our portal all powered up. Here's our instruction book. There's not many instructions on here because the first thing it teaches you to do is follow the on-screen instructions. So pretty simple stuff. We're going to choose our language, English UK for me. Click next, move on. First thing it wants you to do is connect to Wi-Fi. And this is just like connecting up your mobile phone, your iPhone, to your router or to that hotel Wi-Fi connection. It's going to need a password. You know how to find that on the back of your router, all upper and lower case letters and numbers. And once you get that little tick there, that means you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Once you get that up, it gives you the picture. It offers you to connect to the latest updates. Well, I don't think you've got any qualms with that. You need to click on that. Meantime, it'll show you some of the features of the portal. We're just having a quick flip through here. I'm not going to have time to go into this today. We'll just do the initial setup. But it's a clever piece of kit if you use it to its full. 
and by the time we've done all that we you know it's still downloading the latest update which is good once that's done we get this let's set up your portal so we go next quick terms of service we know that then give your portal a name it offers you three common ones living room kitchen dining room I don't see why we shouldn't choose one of them so we choose it the living room we call it the living room and we're taking we move on now this next bit we're gonna load your contacts portal likes you to use Facebook or WhatsApp so we've gone for WhatsApp and uh, we've got a, a sequence here where you can link your WhatsApp contacts see portal is offering us again to go with Facebook but we're going to opt to go without Facebook and just use our WhatsApp contacts this bit portal will send you a few codes down your phone you know the ones to verify it's talking to a real person and some instructions here and under that black screen that I've put there is a QR code one of those square barcodes and you've got to scan it with uh, your smartphone we've gone with WhatsApp so you look for your WhatsApp program on your smartphone and in the chats that bit down the bottom there the settings we're going for that we're going to click for settings and this is what we're looking for WhatsApp web and then you get a little camera a scanning device to scan that QR code it's not showing on that portal there but you know what I'm talking about that's it WhatsApp is now connected all your contacts are now in your portal there's all ours and I've blanked all those out because I'm not showing you a lot who our contacts are gives you a few options set your favorite contacts or now this next bit connect your Amazon Alexa you see on the back of this thing there's a lovely speaker and you can connect it to your Echo Dot uh, and use it like an Alexa very good stuff this next bit here that switch there that's a privacy switch see that red light on there when you've got that on that switch has switched off that it's covered the camera and the microphone so just like that you get your red light you can put that in the corner of your room and whoever rings you or wherever they won't be able to see you or hear you until you turn that switch the other way it goes white and you're away so red light showing means the camera and the microphone are off this is for privacy I recommend that hey you guys we haven't showed you anything here of how to use your portal uh, this could be the subject of another video or you could put some comments on YouTube how you use it or by all means comments on any of the things that we've used in our setup to improve the situation thank you and thank you for listening